Yale is beating Penn 9-3 to in the bottom of the seventh, but Penn's going to put on the show because the second baseman goes back to get this blooper, passes it to his teammate. Tip drill catch, high five, celebrating, run in together. The first baseman says, give me, oh, what? Look at this, off the glove, into the glove, teamwork. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, and it's brought to you by... Slap ball, brand new game, warehouse games. Check it out. It's doing really well. People seem to like it. More sports now. Let's go to rugby sevens where people are dressed up in giraffes and cheetah print and Australia is playing France in the third place game. Now, France has a quite big lead, 21 to 12 with two minutes remaining, but the sisters, Levi sisters are going to pass it to each other. Madison Levi stiff arms the woman from France and scores a try to cut the lead in half, basically. They convert the extra point. They are getting closer, okay? But there's not that much time left. Pretty nice stiff arm there. No, I'm running. Please get out of my way. It's 21 to 19 now, and France just needs to run around, you know, play hot potato, keep it away from Australia. Don't pick it up and then run out of bounds for surely. Oh, damn. Okay, they did that. So now Australia has the ball. There's seven seconds left, but it's going to go to stoppage time so it can continue even when the clock strikes zero, which it does right now. Zero. But now look at this run. Faith Nathan is her name, and she's going to get the ball, and she is going to wait. She doesn't have it. I think this is her. And no, that's not her. And no, this is her. I was right. It was her. She has the ball again. And she's going to take it way down. Just charges downfield, changes the field position, gets tackled, kicks it to number seven, who kicks it to Madison. Levi scores another try to take the lead in. Extra time in Australia. They get third place. They were they were ranked number one going into this tournament. Got upset by New Zealand, but the fans are happy just to see it end on a win. Great play here and like I said this run I believe my notes say this is Faith Nathan and she passes it right there to Charlotte Kaslick who passes it to Madison Levi who scores the game winning try the celebration is great a knee to the belly from number five there who's her sister I believe and now we're dancing and we're dressed like a crocodile or an alligator let me know I could be wrong College lacrosse, Notre Dame ranked number one, take it on Syracuse, ranked number three. Notre Dame has been winning a lot of games. They've been beating good teams, but Syracuse working the ball behind the back pass. Gotta love it. The orange looks bright and beautiful. Great ball movement here by Syracuse, who's up a player. So there's always going to be someone unguarded. Oh my goodness, that's got a sting. What an incredible save by the keeper from Notre Dame, Liam Antiman. And we got to watch a replay. But if you're the Syracuse guy, you thought you were the most open and easiest goal you were ever going to score. On the back door, just got to catch it and put it in. But look at the goalie. Holy cow. Fully vertical, never gives up, gets the stick on the ball, keeps it out of the net. Notre Dame goes on to win their second top three win of the season, and they're doing fireball shots in the crowd as they sing the win song. It's a good day to be Irish. As I said at the top of the show, this episode is brought to you by Slap Ball. It's a new game we created in our warehouse on our Warehouse Games channel. We wanted something that was like possession by possession, team, you throw the ball around, you slap it, weird goals, teamwork, set plays in our warehouse. It's like handball, but our version of it. People have been liking it. The numbers have been good. People seem invested. A lot of rule change suggestions. Go check it out. Slap Ball, three games into the tournament right now. My team, Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. They're saying this is one of the greatest cornhole matches ever played. On the right, in the white shirt, you have Matt Guy, the machine, the champ, the goat, the first person named to the Cornhole Hall of Fame. And in the black shirt, you have Jeremiah Ellis, a rookie, his first year as a pro. Matt Guy is crushing him. It's 18 to 5. This game would go 41 rounds, 328 bags thrown. Because Ellis refused to die, and Matt Guy kind of lost it a little bit. So we're 18 to 5 there, but, you know, Ellis is getting fired up. He plays fiery. That's what they say. 18 to 7 now. Matt Guy, he leaves that on the board. Ellis can attack. He sinks his. All right, last bag, I think, 
for Matt Guy and doesn't drop one. So Ellis grabs a couple more points. He's getting fired up. He's starting to scream. He's feeling the energy. It's 18 to 15 now. We skip ahead. Uh Uh-oh, Matt Guy sinks one. Ellis sinks one. Matt Guy needs to leave it on the table for Ellis, and he does. Yeah, boom, let's go. Ellis is fired up. Matt Guy, shoulder slung. 18 to 17 now, and they're going hole for hole. I score. You score. We all score for ice cream. And okay, in. So now he needs Guy to miss again. Can he close it out? No, it's go. Bam. Come on. Hair getting sweaty, hat coming off. 19 to 18 now. He needs two points to win. He leaves that one on the table. Doesn't drop. Here we go. Matt Guy looking to circumnavigate his bag. Drop his in. Beautiful shot. Ellis wants to push both in. Neither fall. All right. Matt Guy can win the round here. Or he can tie if one of Ellis's bags drop, which it does. The other two stay on. It's a wash. We keep going. Ellis maintains the lead. On to the next round. 19-18. Matt Guy shoots. Leaves it on the table. Deep breath by Ellis because he knows, hey, okay, all I got to do is make all mine. Here we go. Get around him and get in. Okay, wow. Pushes guys but drops in here we go guy needs to push his in oh he air mails it no drag all the way in still leaves uh one on the table oh okay he's got it set up now he's got it set up he needs to get oh yeah takes it takes it and wins and beats matt guy ellis the rookie beats the hall of famer and that they're saying is one of the best cornhole matches to ever be matched and you want to know who enjoyed it you want to know who enjoyed it? This guy. Sneaking some peeks. Moving on to the International Ice Hockey Federation, the World Championships, USA versus Canada. This is a preliminary round matchup. These teams find each other in the championship a lot. Three years running. And, you know, a play in the corner there where the, the whistle, it got heavy. It didn't get lifted. Passed to the middle and scored to win the game. Kirsten Sims puts the USA ahead and ends it. And Canada loses and they're upset but the usa is happy that's how it works look at him pushing pushing his dad you didn't believe come on dad you got to believe uh weird to see the color matchups here i thought it was opposite the all blue team i thought was canada at first i don't know why i don't know why but i did uh kirsten sims who scored that goal here's the no call what do you think tripping tripping did she get her was it a dive was it just an angle Looks like she tripped her. They didn't blow the whistle. It's overtime. You pocket the whistle a lot. Kirsten Sims is going to get this puck, all right? And she's got the pass wide open on the far side. The goalie's got to have that in mind. She kind of opens up her hips a little bit, like she might be passing, and then, nope, five hole through the defense, through the goalie. It's her first goal and point of the tournament. She's making her debut. She was the leading goal scorer in the NCAA this season with 75 points in 39 games. But that's the goal that she remembers the most. Maybe you'd have to ask her, but I'd guess it to be true. This was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. Choose fan of the week. Boom, 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 boom. Who do you got? Who you choosing? And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these. Find yourself watching them regularly. That would help us out. Leave a comment. Those help as well. Let us know. Good batch? Bad batch? Cool? Not cool? And go watch Slapball. See ya. Love you guys. Thanks.